save the king. And welcome back everyone to our Canadian Let's Play of Awesomeness. So, last episode, as you guys all know, we took over Alaska from the uh, Russians and racked up a lot of infamy for it. And so basically, this next this next couple while, we're just going to be kind of chilling out in Canada and trying to build up our navy to a greatness level. And for some reason, oh, it's most of our artisans, well. I honestly don't give a rat's tootin' about the artisans because, in all honesty, they are the worst class to ever be in this game. Okay, uh, okay. We racked up a lot of debt, actually. Okay, so how are we gonna fix this? Well, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're also going to decrease this. Hopefully decrease this. Wow, even with that, we still don't have enough to pay for our own army? Like, how much do we not make? It's probably because we have, like, no no one's making money in the middle class. Hmm. Let's see if that helps. Montenegro goes thing. Okay, there we go. We got our economy back up. Probably gonna have to keep it this high for a little bit. That means we're not probably gonna get as many, uh, population growth as usual. That kind of stinks. But, at least Montreal has now... Almost reached 100k, and Toronto still our biggest city. That stinks. And everyone it has officially happened. The Northwest Territories have finally conceded their, have finally applied for statehood, and we are going to grant it to them. The Northwestern Territories granted statehood. Another astounding victory for Canada today, as it has now become clear that the Northwest Territories will as have been expected for some time, be taken up into the Canadian Polonary with full right to national statehood. Create a free state. Beautiful, beautiful day in Canada. So, yeah, what we're going to be mainly just focusing on is just trying to burn infamy and to just try to relax and stuff. As you guys know, I did sign the Geneva Convention. Um, it was a ploy to kind of help, our, help us gain a little bit less. Okay, I'm going to tax us just... Okay, naval succession, yeah, we really do need to get naval stuff, okay. How much are we taxing? So we got 59, 56, okay, try to keep it even taxes, so let's try 55, 56, 55, and let's try 60 on the lower taxes. Can we push that? Yeah, we can. Okay, so this is how our economy is going to be looking for a little bit. Until we can actually recover, this is probably how our economy is going to be looking. And prestige comments well so now we got some more prestige boosters which is what we need and anything we need specifically well we don't have many capitalists still in our country which is a little bit of a worry um anything that we can do to like help with our hmm oh yeah we have to keep up with our naval naval decisions we have 90k right now so that means we could probably upgrade a couple of these like I'm gonna upgrade this one right here and take a moment to look at our inf infrastructure so I think there's a place right over here somewhere oh yeah we know oh we never built a place I never actually built one okay, let's build one right there and we got yeah, we built this one over here in this little place I don't know why apparently we just wanted to build it in the Baffin Islands because it looked pretty cool um and there should be a place right over here and let me see is there any place else Okay, over here in our new Alaskan province, we can build a extend our ports right there. And how is our Hawaii province doing? Does it have its first... Oh, it never did build it. Okay, so let's build that in Hawaii. That way we can instantly start colonizing because actually the only people we will have to worry about for colonizing new places are the French and the British. And I'm hoping that they'll fight more in Alaska then over here so that we can gain the advantage in our Micronesia Empire. Okay, victory over the Russian Empire, which was... I bet that was a big crushy... Oh, shoot, we're still... Oh, we're still deployed. Shoot. No wonder why. Oh, that makes sense now. That makes sense why they were... Why the uh, people were complaining. They were still deployed. Ah. Okay, well... Everyone's going home now. Um, I'm going to try to just increase by a little bit. Because we got to at least be making 55% in everything. 61, 55. And let's try to be decreasing our taxes about 45. 
I'm not sure if this is going to bankrupt us. Increasing our taxes to 45. And let's not tax the poor as much. Um, not that much. About 50%. So the poor will have to pay 50% of what they own. Everyone else will have to pay. Okay. I was a little bit too generous. I commit. Yep. Okay. It seems like, a ta seems like this will actually work. So there, our taxes are now balanced. Okay. And I'm going to look at our national focuses right now because those are extremely important. So right over here, I'm encouraging craftsmen. And how's that working for us? I'm actually having a decent amount of craftsmen. Now, the only problem is, is that we just don't. Please, just get this through already. I mean, we honestly... We need our capitalists. We need... It seems like what we need right now in our country is a little bit more capitalists, because we have enough... We have a fairly strong amount of people here in our... In our Ontario region. So what we need now is just to start building up our capitalists. A capitalist venture. So that's what we're going to start encouraging, is encouraging capitalists... War between Italy and Austria, and Canada expands price rises in Netherlands at war. So let's see what's happening in the European sphere. So as we know, um, Italy is apparently going to war with Austria. Um, Austria is apparently being beaten up by the Northern Germanic Federation, and the war just ended, and Italy got what it wanted. And but Austria is still being beaten up by the Northern Germanic Federation. Um, Ottomans seem fine. We could just look at this. We don't even have to look at the map, but it looks really awesome. Okay, so let's do this, let's do this. Is that me? No, that's Austria. Austria is in this sphere. So let's see, Persia, War of Western Afghanistan, War of the Pacific, and Romanian liberation of Eastern Holstein. Well, Romania, if you fail, I will be really, really sad because, um, yeah, I'll just be really sad because I've had, I've dealt with Romania in my time and in my French let's play and oh my goodness that Romania just will not give me a break in terms of just stupid things happening to it okay so right now as I said this is just probably gonna be chill out episode I'm trying to hmm I'm just trying to like chill out and make sure we do not enter into any affairs and exploding salt site movie kaboom <laughs> okay Excellent. Or poor lose militancy. Let's get poor lose militancy. Because that's really good. And right now our population is again growing by a lot. And it looks like the Anglo-Canadians and the French Canadians are our biggest are still our biggest nationalities. Malay is actually starting to become really big. And I think that's because of Malaysia and mechanized mining, thank you. And Native American is the next biggest and then Polynesian and Crete. Hmm. I can't believe Crete actually made a good indent in us. And so, as we can see, the French have now claimed um, Denam, which might be good for us in the future because um, we're just waiting for one of the big powers. Well, not right now anyways, but once we get our infamy down, we're gonna just going to wait for one of the big powers to declare war on China and so that we can maybe join in with them and take over as much China as we can. So we definitely want... Oh, and there's a crisis right now, but luckily we are not a big power, so we don't have to deal with it. And it's for Poland's independence. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not in this anymore. I don't have to deal with Poland's independent movements. Thank goodness. Okay, so we're just gonna see... Um, let's see, what is, the, what is the side shaping up to be? So, the Ottomans, strangely enough, support independence of another minor nation. That's kind of interesting. And it's going to be, it seems like these guys will choose the Russians. I'm guessing the French will also choose the Russians. Yep, it Italy might choose the Ottomans. No, it seems like they're probably going to choose the Russians. And even if with the Italians on the side, the Ottomans would lose. So, you know, it's kind of good that this will all end in another stalemate. And we are now extending a factory, the first factory that's been made in a long, long time. My capitalists, oh my goodness, when did I get a thousand capitalists? That is awesome, okay, that's as many as we need to start getting, to start producing much more of a flight. Wow, just like increasing just for, just like increasing my 20% of capitalists really does help. So how many capitalists do I have in my country now? I have in total 1,887, no, almost, wow, we're getting a lot a second. That's really good, that's really, really good. Bureaucrats don't really care about them. Craftsmen, I'm gaining 
about 50,000 craftsmen. That's pretty good. But yeah, we are pff, we're doing pretty good right now. Our Canadian our Canadian power is in rapidly industrializing and um we're trying to support ourselves. And you know, now since we have basically 50% taxes and we're basically doing well, um I can now switch over to the Liberal Party, which is like I said, what we kind of want to do in this let's play is is just kind of be more liberalistic. And since I'm not going to war for a little bit, it's okay if I don't have to do any major reforms. And apparently, ooh, 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 we can create, oh my goodness, really? Oh, really, Alaska's, uh, okay, and apparently um, the United States has decided to spear us, so does that mean the United States will form an alliance with us? No, it does not, dang. Thought I could thought I could get away with like an alliance with the United States and Alaska, but at least the UK still likes us and the United States should like us a lot. Yeah, they do. Okay, but anyways, Alaska's already a call is already a state, so that means let's see. Um migrations. No, I want to see nationality. There it goes. Nationality. Um I just want to see the Alaska region. Now let's go to Alaska. Let's see. What does Alaska have? So let's see, nationality is mainly Native American minor. And, but it still has a 1.7% Anglo-Canadian power, 16% Russian, that should be eliminated over the years, and because we don't like the Russians, and mainly Amnesty person. Wow, I can't believe we actually converted this this quickly. Okay, so, um, you have been granted statehood, Alaska, and voila! So, now Alaska is now going to join us in our political affairs, and... I don't think that the Russians will ever be able to claim it again. Because now since it's officially one of my cores, it's like... Okay, white piece as I knew. It's now officially one of my cores, so that we officially gain this, so... Yeah, this look, this is pretty awesome. And... um, Louis Leal and the first Metris Rebellion. The Metris people were a small group of small commodities of French Indian blood in the... Manitoba region who has hopes of self-government. Unfortunately, the dreams were shattered when the Hudson Bay land, which they were a part of, were given to Canada without the consent. In protest, the Metis people led by Lu Louis Riel revolted. Louis Riel was a highly religious man who had studied for, for the clergy in his early life. He fought for the Metis people and became a hero in the eyes of the Matinobins. Matinobins. Louis bargained with the Canadian government for Navajo's entry into the Confederation. Canadian delegates granted the rights of the people would be respected. Thus, Manitoba, the post-stage stamp service, was born. <laughs> the post-stage stamp province was born, okay. So, listen to Matessa's demand or ignore it. Well, we are Canada. And technically, this happened before we became a sovereign state. So... Does this apply to us? Because we technically... This isn't technically what we had to do. The British did this. Should we answer for our, for our mother's crimes? Or do we ignore the matter entirely and say it was somebody else? <sighs> Alright. The King of Canada will, hear, will listen to the Matez demands. If you guys free yourself though, I'm going to go after you. <laughs> if you guys actually do go into your own sovereign nation, I will go after you. I'm I'm not joking about that. That better this better not result in you guys actually becoming a free state. Um hopefully and I'm gonna try to not become a communist. Okay. And so I better supply this rule right now. If I become a communist in this game, I'm leaving. Okay? And if I get if they're elected to communism, that does not count, okay? If they cause sometimes your part that party becomes popular and it's really hard to like curb the people but if, if for some reason I become communist through a revolt or revolution, then this campaign is over. And that does, that also does apply to my other campaigns. And I'm making a lot of good money right now. Um, the rich are definitely prospering from what, from what I can see. That's only because I'm a very, very nice taxer to the rich. Taxer, wink, wink. I guess is the main way. I can like increase this by one. So that it's 51%. Okay, and let's see if we can raise the lower the taxes even more by 40% on each 
thing, lower the taxes. I mean, I've never had the taxes on the lower class to about 45% before. This is a pretty big... I'll even lower it even more. Let's try to make sure that we are probably one of the most lovable nations ever. Dang, that's a little bit lower taxes than I expected. But, it should go back up if we have a good enough economy, which I think we will. And, for some reason, our military is not being supported just enough so that we don't... Hmm, okay, we need to be at least supporting it 51%, so that means, sorry, it was a, it was a good dream while it lasted, but I'm going to have to increase the taxes again. So, 40... 39, 40, there we go. Okay, yeah, because we need to keep make sure that our military can be supported on all cylinders. And we don't need to have that much taxes. So, let's see. I, well, our capitalists are starting to get into the spirit of buying everything for me, especially for a laissez-faire kind of government. And since I'm apparently going to be a great power here soon, that might be good. I mean, it might be really good to have friends. Alright, so what should I get? Semi-automation, oil pumping, electrical machine. Electrical machinery might be good. Um, oh, what we do need to do is market regulations because we need to, we need to make sure that when the great scramble for Africa comes, we are ready for it. And how is this, have we built a little port here? It's still building, great. That's going to take a really long time, isn't it? Well, that's, I hope it's not going to take too long because we will need to start island hopping here. And I think we have just enough to keep island hopping with all these kind of places. So we'll be good. We just need to make sure we have a major port right here to like island hop. Hmm. And as we can see everyone, Canada has now risen to the greatness I all told you about in like the first episode. Only took me three episodes to make Canada a great power. What? Okay, so, um, we got a couple of events here. The Valley of the Kings increases infamy, but I'm pretty sure it will help us in the long run. I'm not sure. We could build a Panama Canal. Um, Hawaii Rebels. And not really, not really anything of importance. Um, hmm. What should we do as our first act as Canada? Well, if I could, I'd love to... I'm gonna ask excavation rights requested, and... Let's see. Who it? We're gonna do it. Yeah. We're gonna get the value of the kings. Last... I'm not hesitant in this let's play. I'm gonna get the value of the kings. Canada has its first act as an independent, sovereign nation. We will excavate whatever we want. So, now that we are an independent nation, this means that we could have potential realities of going to war with the United States for... Well, I mean, the United States and us could go to war, possibly, just because of great powerness problems, but hopefully not. And, oh wow, this is kind of weird to see, like, both the United States and Canada in the same... Okay. That's really weird, so... What we should be doing, since now, since we are Canada, is starting to build up our sphere of influence across the world so that Canada will be recognized as a free sovereign nation. Though we still don't have much of a real good army, and we pretty much stink at everything, but our shipbuilding. That's the only thing we have good at, but we have really not that many ships. So, um, our first idea that we should incorporate into us is... Hmm... What would be a good first move in our terms of our only of our sphering nations? You know, it would be really good to have the Panama Canal, but hmm, Mexico might be a better ally, especially since they are bigger than us. So, our first nation that we will try to sphere is Mexico. Another nation that we will try to sphere is not the Brazilians, because I've already hmm. You know what, Pooh, I'm going to sphere Canada, I'm going to sphere Colombia, because Colombia is actually a good nation. So Canada and Col Mexico and Colombia will be the first stages of us, of our Canadian sphere of influence. And now we can go and act some reforms. Um, what are going to be some of our reforms? I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep the first past the post, and I'm going to keep gerrymandering, because these all help keep really big powers in power. So 
But let us switch to universal. Everyone can vote. That is the first act of the Canadian king as a new nation. We can allow voting. And I think we're gaining much more, hopefully gaining much more migrations than the United States. Okay, just barely. That's really good. That's really good. We're still gaining more migrations than the United States. Just barely, though. But that's still good. Just barely gaining. Oh, no. Now they're taking. No, we're still gaining more than they are. And the conservatives are slowly dying out. And the liberals are slowly being being lifted up in the Canadian eyes as the dominant power. Uh, crisis averted of the new, the news of the world. It's technically le temps. Because I don't really like that name. It doesn't really feel like a good name. So we endorse free trade. Let's see. Yes. The liberals endorse free trade. And we, as a proud Canadian people. Wow, that's something. I'm, I'm seriously thinking that the proud Canadian people will definitely raise the tariffs. No. There's no such thing as race tariffs. And apparently the next crisis is going to be the po the Poland crisis. Which, will I join in? Well, in this Let's Play, Canada is not about freeing nations. We are about keeping our empire going and following the great British attitude. So, I don't know yet, actually. We're going to find out once the events, or once the first event fires, to figure out if Canada will be, will we endorse free full citizenship? We will endorse full citizenship. Um, we will find out if Canada is going to be this free-loving nation, or will we be just um, this nation of much, much, um, what's the word? Scrutiny? No. Oppression. That's the word. Oppression. So what do we like? We like, really, the liberals like interventionism? Um, for once, I'm actually arguing for laissez-faire, because I can't actually do anything. Like, my government technically can't do anything. And Mexico... Mexico! Okay. Let's do that. Okay, let's get back to our... V, our screen over here, and... Um, hopefully our capitalists are starting to create more and more... Places there are no gods. Are there gods? Let's see. No, we believe in pluralism. Which is... Let the people have their faith. Those scummy weaklings should having a faith. Expand the mill. So we should outfit an expedition as Canada's new audacious and great relationship with the Egyptians. We will increase our prestige. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we can start building some other things. So that's what I'm going to start doing is endorsing some of these. That way it'll help speed up the process. And the union's bustling. An excellent initiative that can be only applauded. Why not? Why not? Okay, I gave the capitalists a clear reign to get everything they need. Now they just need to actually do it. Okay. Nope. Free trade. Okay, now you guys just need to finish up with... Can you guys build the explosive factory? I know it doesn't seem like we need it, but... We need an explosive factory. And apparently the conservatives took power again. Well, luckily, uh, ah, ha, 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 ha. I can always do that. And the fears of Wattenberg, the Dutch-American relations, Ecuador expands, the general funeral breakthrough, and Basta new party intervention. Okay, so everyone, we have our first crisis as our nation of Canada. What is it going to be? Um... It's the crisis of the Polish independence movement. And will will Canada support the independence of Poland? No. Canada is not above saying no to saying that while we do love the irony of supporting but we do love the fact that we were once a sovereign nation and needed support to backing and shoot our motherland country just back them. Um, well, that just changed things. Um, we should try again. Um, well, does Canada have the guts to say no to its own motherland country? Shoot, well, oh shoot, this might actually turn against me. Well, you know what? No. 
No, I'm not going to. Well, Mexico. Mexico is becoming an Osphia. It's really good. But should we endorse? Well, let's see. Hmm. Both have very powerful sides. See, if I go on this side, I'm working with my enemies. The Russians and the French. Hmm. Columbia can now be in my sphere. Hmm. I don't want to support the sovereignty of free nations. It's definitely not what I want to do in this. Hmm. Well, it seems like the choice was not made for us because there was a white piece. But let us hope there won't be a future episode where I have to, like, decide between my country of old and my country of new. Alright, so we have... We now have the event crossfire of of the scramble for Africa, and I'll leave this to the next episode. See you guys next time.